Djokovic is going to return this one and say, come towards me, little boy. And he slides, returns it. Then he says, go away from me, little boy. And he slides, gets him. Ha ha. Gotcha, old man. 16 year difference between these two. Old man says, uh, he beats him anyway. This is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. And it's brought to you by the Warehouse Games. We've got a new series coming up. Ball in Play League starts soon. Stanford beat Texas in game one. They need to win game two to go to the World Series. They got lefty Quinn Matthews on the bump. This dude does nothing but pitch. Throws 110 pitches a start, basically, and he's in the ninth inning, and that's the second out, and then third out. No, that kid gets a hit. That was his 150th pitch of the game. A rubber arm. Smart kid. Coach comes out, says, all right, how you feeling? It's 150 pitches. There's one out. You got it. You got it. I mean, are you okay? You're throwing a lot of pitches. He says, get away from me, coach. I throw pitches. That's what I do. I'll get this kid. Doesn't matter. Nice little slider there. One and one. Another little slider curve. I don't know what he calls it. Then in the dirt, 2-2. Two, two. That one's fouled. Last pitch of the game, 156 pitch. A little ground out. Third baseman gets it. He watches. One finger in the air. Number one sends his team to the World Series. They want to celebrate complete game, 156 pitches. He's like, guys, I'm pretty tired. I'm pretty beat up. You know, I like throwing 110 pitches. 156, that's a lot. Gujarat versus Rajasthan in handball. They're tied up with two minutes to go. That big, oafy looking dude dumps it to that guy who jumps and scores go ahead goal for the Patriots. Now, Gujarat. They get a penalty with 40 seconds left and a kick save, a beautiful kick save by the keeper puts the other team on a fast break to slam the door shut and the Gujarat fans are stunned. What is going on? I thought we were the best team in premier handball. We're losing. That stinks. You guys missed that. It's a brand new league. First year of the league, handball. Not the first year of this league, though. The USFL is underway and Philly major comeback they score 17 straight points i believe to tie this game the quarterback throws this one cookus as he's being cooked for the tackle and actually it's sad though because he gets hurt and i believe they said this guy broke his leg in the postseason last year so maybe that broken leg is acting up or maybe he's just tired and wants a little breather but he's up on his feet he heads to the medical tent and they do some special stuff in there and he returns to the field. They're down by seven. He needs to complete the comeback for his team. Second and six. Make the play. Make the play. Make the play. Make the play. Make. Nice tackle. Loser. First down. Next play. Let's do it. Just need some yak all over it. Number seven breaks free. Runs down and down at like the 20. Okay. Third and 10. Touchdown. No. But that dude spun his teammate, and that was cool to watch. I enjoyed that. And he's like, all right, fourth and 10. Let's just kick it, and then we'll get the ball back because they have new rules here. You can go for fourth and 12, and if you pick up the first down, that's easier than an onside kick. We practice this all the time. We just did this. Does he get it? No, but yes, because of the flag. So how about that? The comeback, are they going to do it? Touchdown to win the game. Drops back, looking, 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 looking. Where'd you come from? Fumble, but his guy recovers it. That was an interesting play because the, the defenseman's on the ground. See him? And he just rolls. And when he pops up from his roll, right in the quarterback's face. So at this point, you can see the quarterback got no idea he's there. He's not checking the ground. And then, oh, should have checked the ground. So that, that play doesn't work. And now time's expiring. Fourth and eight. Do they get it? No. Fumble. And the cool medical tent, wild comeback doesn't happen. The ashes have begun. We're on day three as I record this. England scored 393 runs on day one and then declared. They said, we're good. We don't need you to get us out anymore. We think we're good. We're happy. You guys just hit and get on Australia. They put up 386, seven run difference. I might've had the numbers wrong, but seven run difference. So it's anyone's game. This was the most weird and kind of interesting wicket or out from day one. It pops up. Everyone's like, where is it? Where is it? And then falls and knocks the bells off the stump. So the batter's out. 
So it goes, it hits his pad. Now, if they catch it, he's out, but they're like, where is it? You got it, mate? I don't got it. Well, and then falls down and knocks the bales off his stump. So the batter's out. Australia didn't have to do anything. They were in a tizzy. Where is it? We got to catch it. We got to catch it. We got to make sure this is out. Nope. Don't need to catch it. Actually avoid it. Just let it hit the stumps. He'll get himself out. So that was that was pretty weird. That worked out nicely. Look, up, down, into the stumps. Bald head looks like a bald cap for Nathan Lyon, but he's excited. He casts a smile. What else are you going to do but smile? The other funny or weird thing about cricket is people are always in the way, and they're always telling the fans, like, hey, move. They're actually saying, close the doors. Close the doors to the suite. You're distracting us. With your, I think the doors closed. I maybe they're anti glare. I was gonna say they have more glare, but probably anti glare. And then this time, the security person just walks behind the bowler, and he's like, "Come on, mate, what are you doing?" He's like, "Oh shit, me. All right, see ya." Anyway, it's gonna be a hell of a last three days because after first inning, first and second innings to speak cricket, it's all tied up. Ashes. Maybe I'll do a whole another video just on the ashes because it's cool in the. Google why the ashes are called the ashes. That's a fun story. Anyway, moving on. And now the end of the show, the fan of the week brought to you by the Warehouse Games. Ball and Play League. We have professional cricket players join us for our hybrid baseball cricket tournament. Our Ball and Play League. It starts end of June. It's a lot of fun. I will go. I go blind in the middle of it. All right, fan of the week. Fan of the week. Don't worry about that. Fan of the week. Who you got? Place your votes. Be respectful. Care about your decision. Thank you very much.